everybody, this is Patty. I have been here for quite a while doing potting classes. Maybe you have joined us for one of our workshops on Saturday. But today we're going to feature our butterflies and we're going to put them into this nice beautiful green container. This is all part of the Festival of Butterflies. We have our box here which is called our Butterfly Bundle. It has a selection of six plants for $35 and you can order this online and pick it up at the nursery. So you can see there's an array of plants in here and I will talk about them a little bit more as we're planting. Along with that, you will get a packet of information about the plants and other butterfly information for you. And you don't forget to go into the store because we have books and we have pamphlets and we have fun things for the kiddos and we have pins with monarch butterflies on them. And also this handy dandy butterfly pick, which we're gonna to use today also. So first of all, we're gonna start with um, a nice good container. And at the very bottom, you have gotta make sure it has a hole. And to cover the hole so that the soil doesn't just keep coming out, we're going to use a piece of pottery that's been broken. It is concave so that the water um, it isn't completely blocked. And you put it right down along the bottom. We're going to fill up this container for uh, about half full. Okay, so now we have the pot about half full. And at this point, I like to add a little bit of water. The soil is on a little bit dry side. And so we want to make sure that the medium that we have, that we're using is wet enough before we get started. And of course, it's gonna be dripping out the bottom. So we're gonna make kind of a mess, but that's okay. We'll clean it all up later. So mix it around a little bit. This soil that we are using is a Tree of Life nursery mix. It is similar to what we plant our plants in um, for sale. And it makes really great potting soil. It drains very well and it has nutrients in it along with forest mix. So then we're gonna place our plants in there. Now we're talking about butterfly plants that we have selected. And so what makes a butterfly um, attracted to these plants is this cluster of flowers. This is a Ribes verbena, excuse me, <laughs> verbena lilacina, and uh, so uh, lilac verbena. And if you notice, this might look like just one flower, but there's a lot of little flowers there. And so that helps the butterfly get nectar in one place, not have to go from flower to flower to flower and waste energy. It's um, very effective and efficient for them that way. So this is gonna go into the pot. So, and of course, the monarchs are always attracted to narrow leaf milkweed and other milkweeds too. But um, their native ones are narrow leaf milkweed, and the other one that we sell here at the nursery is called showy milkweed. So, this one, of course, has narrow leaves, and the monarch looks for this plant to lay eggs on. The larva will eat only this plant, and that's how they grow big and strong and become a butterfly. So that's gonna go into our pot also. And we always have to have some buckwheat. Buckwheat is an overall great butterfly attracting plant. It also has a cluster of flowers when it blooms. It's white and it's just um, a really delightful plant. This one is the Dana Point buckwheat. So that's gonna go into our plant planter also. Of course we need some gray and also a salvia. A salvia will attract um, butterflies and hummingbirds, so that's a, a double. And it has this wonderful um, gray foliage, it's very scented, and you can also use it for um, other uses. Um, you know, of course, um, it was a ceremonial plant used by the indigenous people, it still is today. It's always good to have your own in the garden instead of harvesting it in the wild, which has become popular, but a no-no. So, gotta have one of those. So here we go. I'm gonna take these out for a moment and get planted. So I can see I need a little bit more soil. Not quite, these plants are small, um, in small containers I should say, and they are, these are four inch containers. And in the butterfly bundle you will also get to select six of the plants. Uh, so there's some others in, that are for the selection that I haven't chosen for this pot. I don't think that we can fit too many or all six in this one pot. But in your garden, you could select um, all six and put them in there. In a container, 
the plants will grow only to a certain size because they have a restricted area. And we don't want to make it too crowded for them. So we're going to place this one just right in the center because he's kind of tall. That's the buckwheat. You've got to have a little bit of a lip in here so the water can rest um, in there and not flow out too fast. Make it up a little bit higher. Still low. Okay. So some color right now. Put our verbena just kind of tucked in here, spilling out over the edge. Got to put in our milkweed. Let's put that one just kind of off to the side here so the butterfly can find it, that monarch butterfly. And of course our white sage. White sage typically grows to be about five feet and spread about five feet, but guess what? In this pot, it's going to stay smallish and just be wonderful addition for this pot. So now we've got our plants placed in here. I'm going to add a little bit more soil. Tuck that around the sides. Got to make sure your plants are thoroughly watered before you put them in too. One more small scoop over here. So as you can see, you kind of you need a, an area where you can really um, spread out and make a mess because that's what I've done. Sometimes it's best to plant your plant right where you're going to place it because it gets kind of heavy in these containers. And so that might be the ideal place. I'm going to give it just a tiny bit more water. When I get it placed in the area, this particular pot, when I get it placed in the area I want it to be, I will then water it more thoroughly. So what makes a California pot? We have California plants. We have rocks, because when you go hiking, you're going to find rocks all over. So we're going to place some rocks in here. And sticks. Got to have some sticks. Now, of course, that's going to make the pot even heavier, but you, if you plant it right where it's supposed to be placed in your garden, it will be just fine. So all these plants are going to be great for the sunshine, so that's exactly where you're going to want to be putting it. So sticks are another popular thing to use, so I'm going to make this fit just right. It kind of gives it this nice finishing touch, and that's a place for a butterfly to land or a hummingbird. And then the rocks, when they warm, the lizard will be attracted to that. And put another piece right over here. Let's see. Also a place for the chrysalis. Yes, the chrysalis can hang from the, um, the, the branches of this. Well, because it's a butterfly plant, we're going to stick in this little butterfly pick that we have for sale here at the store. And there's also, you know, pieces of bark that you can use. Uh, this is a, a piece of dried manzanita. So I might want to just kind of crumble some of this on top just to kind of give a, a, like a little finished look. Right, so there we have it. Again, the verbena lilacina, the narrow leaf milkweed, the buckwheat that is Dana Point, and the white sage, which you can even use to make tea. I'm going to give it another shot of water. And this is what you can create if you buy one of our butterfly bundles. 
So don't forget to come visit our store, visit us online, order your butterfly bundle and pick it up at the nursery and come and say hi. Thanks for joining us.